other garden is just producing so much. And in my household right now, it's just the two of us since our son's off at college. And we don't have one big eater here. So it's time to put up and try to preserve as much of this harvest as possible because we can't possibly eat it all now. Um, and today I'm going to work on just doing a flash freeze of long beans. Um, which I pick about this many every single day, and there's no way we can eat that many every single day. So I'm just going to show you how I quickly vacuum, um, freeze, flash freeze them and uh, vacuum seal them. And then we have them to use in stir fries throughout the year, which is really nice. First, you want to look at your beans after you've washed them and trim off the blossom end because that bit gets a little bit tough. Then slice them into two and a half to three inch pieces, which is ideal for stir frying. Next, put them into boiling water. And you wanna make sure it's boiling and then cover it. Meanwhile, make some ice water. After the beans have boiled for one minute, you want to drain them in a colander, run some cold water over them very quickly, then plunge them in the ice water bowl until they completely cool. You might want to taste one just to make sure. All right. So once you've got your once you've got your beans dry, um, drained and cold, you want to spread them out on a on a towel, a clean kitchen towel, in a single layer like this. You're going to try to get as much of the water off of these as possible so you don't get ice crystals on your frozen beans. All right, and then just take a paper towel or another kitchen towel and blot as much of the water out as you possibly can. Another way to do this is the same way that you would wash a wool sweater. You can roll them up like this. give it a little and give it a little squeeze gently and then unroll them there you go okay at this point you have a couple of choices you could if you wanted to make sure that all the beans were individually uh, frozen you can put these on a cookie sheet or baking sheet lined with uh, wax paper and put it in the freezer for about an hour to freeze the beans quickly I'm just going to put them in my vacuum sealer bags and seal them up. All right, I'm just going to make two small bags because these I'm most likely to, these I'm most likely to put in with meats and things like that when I'm stir frying for a whole meal, a quick meal.